Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Absolute Conflicts. Today we're looking at a brand new robotic kit. This here is the all new Yougot Robotic Kit, a company that branches off of UbiTech, which actually made this guy right over here. This here is the Alpha 1S Pro, and probably one of my very first robots that I reviewed on this channel. I have to say, probably essentially the OG of humanoid robots. Now, together we'll be unboxing this as well as building and seeing exactly what it's all about. Now, if you're not familiar with it, it's actually a modular robotic kit that is fully programmable. Not only that, you can go ahead and make a variety of different robots, not just one kind. So you can make a spider robot, you can make a legged robot, a quadruped, uh, even a transforming robot. And I have to say that is absolutely crazy. Now together we'll be unboxing and of course building it. So if you guys want your very own, check out the funding page in the link below. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this here's a packaging, this here's our box. Obviously this is just a prototype so it's going to look a little different than the final version. But let's go ahead and open these things up and see what we're working with. Alright, so check it out. This here is everything that we're working with and I have to say this is absolutely mind-blowing. There's so many different pieces and so many different things that you can do with this. Literally, the possibilities are quite endless. Now, just kind of jumping right into it. So over here, I do kind of see our main hub or essentially our main module. So it does have a lot going on in terms of what you can do with this. So you just go ahead and build this. It has a screen here. You select the different model that you're building. Essentially, this here is like the brain of it, I would have to say. Um, and yeah, there's a lot of different connections on here and designed to be like click and play so no screws required now besides that I have a lot of different other pieces as well so we have wheels uh, we have servos uh, we have ourselves omnidirectional wheels so that's neat uh, we have these different kind of rotational servos so that's kind of neat too to see uh, I have our charger pack um, I have different essentially body panels to go ahead and make different things we have are different kind of like foldable legs and yeah I mean there's so many different pieces to this it's actually really interesting to see now we also got ourselves the controller here so you can use it via Bluetooth and control it as essentially an RC vehicle so that's kind of nice that they did include that uh, and yeah I mean I'm actually really excited to see what we come up with so let's just go ahead and dive right into this and see if we can go ahead and build one of their iconic robots all right, so our transforming vehicle is finally done. Looks pretty darn cool. I do like the fact that everything is snap and play and it's overall a very simple concept. Now we do have a controller here to go ahead and connect to it, or you can just simply use the on-screen display to go ahead and control it as well. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on by hitting this power button here on the bottom. Hold it for a few seconds. You'll see some lights going on there indicating that it is powering on. And then over here, she's holding it this way, <laughs> you can actually see uh, what the menu is all about so let's take a look at this all right so we're just gonna go ahead and click swipe and we can actually see the different robots that we can choose from so obviously we built ourselves a transforming one so we're gonna be clicking on that first which is this guy right over here click okay and now we're all set now aside obviously using the controller we can actually see the menu for this particular robot so you have your program list uh, you have your settings mode and that is it in terms of the main menu goes. So if I click on program list, this will showcase all the different programs for this particular robot as well as every other robot too. Side note, the demo programs were created using the graphical programming tool that's available for You Got Robots. In addition, a more refined UI and additional functions will be available when the app is fully ready once it's on the market. So for instance, if I wanted to the transforming RC and I hit play. There we go. Now from there, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on my controller. All right, that sound there meant it did connect. So now that it's connected, I can actually move this like an RC car. So my left side here is gonna actually move it front to back as well as rotate it left to right. Now, a cool thing about this particular vehicle is that you can transform it. So on the right side here, I can make it go up I can go all the way up like that. There we are. And you can see it's a different state now. If I head down, it'll go very down. So it's transforming from the two different states. So that's kind of cool that you can go ahead and create a different function in terms of a robotic kit goes. 
So that is that in a nutshell in terms of being able to control it, in terms of the RC goes. Doesn't give you much control besides just physical movements. And let's go back into the menu here. So you have scrolling back up here, I'm gonna click on um, trans for dance and try this out. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. So it does have a speaker and it has some LEDs kind of portraying at the same time. Um, and it's kind of dancing by shifting its body left and right. So that was our dance. So pretty darn cool. Uh, so the next thing I want to try is this transfer finger guess. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, cool. Oh, so you can play it like this. So this is rock. So you can actually see a picture of it as well, right there. Try that again. See, so try rock, paper, scissors. Rock. Ah, you got me. Try again. Rock, paper, scissors. Paper. Wow. Hold tight. All right, well, that is that in a nutshell. So it does have a camera in here, which you can actually detect if you're doing rock, paper, scissors, and you know, kind of go based off of that. So really cool, kind of interesting concept. Again, you can always technically program it as well, which is really nice to see. Now, before we go and build something else, I wanna go back here to kind of show something. So if we go into the menu, I can go to settings. Uh, this will let me connect to the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the control of the volume, switch between the different models, calibrate and about. So it just gives you a few different functions, and obviously from that, you can actually connect to it uh, via your computer. Let's go ahead and build something next and see what we come up with. So we went ahead and just built ourselves the wheeled and legged robot, essentially a balancing robot that should be on something like that. Uh, so go ahead and turn it on again by holding the power button here. Swipe, 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 swipe. Here we go. Our wheel, leg, and RC, and hopefully this works out. All right, looks like it's already balancing, so that's great. So we're gonna go ahead and connect to it via our Bluetooth remote. Okay, that means it's connected. So let's see if we can go, oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. So we can actually move it. So that's cool. So I can go ahead and spin it around left and right. So that's kind of neat. So the right joystick should move it up and down. There you go. So I can bring it down by pressing the down button. I can bring it up. So that's up. And then this here is gonna be down. So you can go ahead and Essentially, uh, bring it up and down. So that's kind of neat too that it does have that capability and it's balancing on top of everything else. So let's bring it up. This is very identical to that robot we previously reviewed, obviously not as advanced, but it's still pretty cool. Um, and then it's kind of unique that you can go ahead and build a balancing robot like this and that actually can go ahead and increase its height and decrease its height. And it's also a wheeled robot on top of everything else. How cool is that? So let's go ahead and build ourselves another robot. All right, so I went ahead and built the engineer, which is essentially an RC car with a claw in there that you can actually control using the controller. So I can go ahead and give it a balance like this. I can rotate it. Um, and then I have the extra controls as well, so I can essentially open the claw, raise the claw, and bring it down as well, same way. And then I can also close the claw, open, just like that, so it does give you that control as well. And then you can also rotate it too, which is pretty cool too. So it does give you uh, control over that if you want to go ahead and like grab something. For instance, if I'm trying to grab this little cube, uh, I can bring it down uh, like this. There we go, and let's kind of just move it like that right there. And then I can close my gripper like that and bring it up. So it does show you exactly how that works. All right, so we're gonna try the object grab. So for this example here, we're gonna be using this little part here. So as it comes around, we're gonna go ahead and see if we can grab this. 
There we go. Alright, pick it up. And then gonna throw it. <laughs> How cool is that? So it actually worked quite well. So that's actually awesome how it does that. Uh, so let's try that one more time. Put the object right here in front of it, just like this. <laughs> that's so cool. And it's gonna throw it. <laughs> All right, so that is that. So it does use its own sensors to pick up the object, which is great. Besides that, you can go ahead and create your own application with graphical or Python programming. So let's go ahead and build another robot. Alright, so for the next one here, we've built our self-balancing robot. Uh, so this is designed to essentially balance like that. It looks pretty cool. So I'm going to go ahead and select it on that. And I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here and click on Balancing Car RC. There we go. And now I can uh, control it. So it's actually balancing on its own right now. That's pretty cool. I can go ahead and bring it back. I can bring it forward. And yeah, it definitely has a little bit of a personality, I would say. Really cute overall. <laughs> But yeah, it does a pretty good job in terms of balancing goes. Um, you can see I'm kind of like swinging it back and forth there, hitting the wall. And yeah, <laughs> obviously once you kind of pick it up, it'll stop balancing. But yes, that is our balancing robot balancing on two wheels. Pretty cool. Let's go ahead and build ourselves another robot. So I went ahead and built ourselves our spider robot. Now uh, this here is obviously a four-legged robot, but uh, it's RC it's supposed to be a spider robot. So now I went ahead and connected it to the controller. Overall, it looks pretty darn cool as you can already tell. So you got a lot going on there, a lot of different wires. Uh, but yeah, there you go. So you can see it moving about just like that. So I can move it forward, I can move it back, I can have it rotate. Oh, let's get out of here. I can have it rotate like this in a full 360 motion. So it's pretty cool on how it moves. And then obviously I can move it backwards and I can move it forward as previously mentioned. Now the nice thing about this is obviously it does have a camera in here, uh, which if you go ahead and program it even further, you can technically utilize that. But this kind of gives you an idea of what this particular robot is. And I have to say it is really, really cool as you can already tell. So let's go ahead and build our next robot. Alright, so check it out. So this here is our quadruped robot. Uh, overall, a little bit more complicated than some of the other ones, I have to say. Mainly because of the fact that the wiring is an issue. You just have to make sure that you go ahead and wire it up before you kind of put it together. Otherwise, you'll be finding yourself uh, opening it up again, rewiring it uh, until you figure out the correct orientation. But once it's done, this is how it looks. Now, in terms of controls go, you have the RC movement. So you can go ahead and walk it around. Uh, we're going to click on quadruped robot RC and then hit play. There we are, so I can go ahead and move it about so I can move it backwards, I can move it forward, uh, I can have it rotate, so I can make it go right, I can make it go left, and essentially it's an RC vehicle, uh, but obviously a quadruped robot style. So that's kind of cool that you can actually technically build this kind of robot as well. Now, it does lack some other features such as increasing or decreasing the height uh, from what I'm seeing here, but besides that, I mean, it is pretty cool in terms of what it can do. Uh, just kind of interesting that you can go ahead and build something like this. And then of course you do have the camera here on the front that you can technically program uh, using the app integration of course uh, once it's out so yeah there you guys have it so overall pretty darn cool and kind of gives you an idea of what this robotic kit's about I love the fact that you can go ahead and build a variety of different things from robots like this uh, to a transforming robot overall it 
that's a really cool design concept and the fact that it's modular is absolutely amazing now with that said if you guys have any questions about this feel free to comment down below otherwise we'll see you in the next episode take care now bye bye